Hello, I'm Philip Stowe, and I'm here at Apex in Las Vegas, and I'm joined by Tom from Microcare. Tom, thanks for stopping by to chat. My pleasure. Good to see you. Lots of new products released at Productronica in Munich last November. Are they products that you're releasing here this week at the show? Yes, that is. We are releasing five new uh, benchtop cleaners, as well as some new technology for automated vapor degreasing equipment, all focused on removing difficult uh, flux residues left okay. on the board. And is that something you're seeing a particular demand in a particular location for? Is that pretty much worldwide? It's pretty much worldwide. There's two driving forces. Uh, the first one being uh, new uh, pastes and new fluxes, different temperatures, different profiles, leaving different residues. So we formulate according to those residues uh, to get the cleaner that will do the best job for our customers. And then, of course, the second uh, always changing world of regulations. Mm. So we're really happy to introduce what we call a universal flux remover uh, that is compliant pretty much all around the world. Okay, that's really important. And um, the products that you're, that you're releasing and that you release there, we, we went through this whole no clean phase with, uh, with Pace and there never seemed to be anybody not cleaning no clean. What, what's changing at the moment that's, that's driving you in terms of development with fluxes? Well, there's still a lot of no clean out there, but mm -hmm. there's still a lot of uh, needs to clean after for aesthetic reasons, if not performance reasons. Uh, the big driving force would be board design. Uh, mm -hmm. Gaps are getting smaller and smaller. Uh, and so the type of technology we bring, which is based on cleaning fluids or solvent technologies, has a natural uh, ability to get into tight places, mm -hmm. not only get in, solubilize and clean, but get out and dry. Okay. And are they... Um so what, what's the market looking like for you in the U.S. at the moment? Is it pretty strong? Uh, we're at, the cleaning market's uh, pretty strong, I would say very strong. Uh, not only electronics, but some of the other markets we serve, such as precision uh, component manufacturing and medical device manufacturing. Okay, any particular end user markets that are, that are more demanding, automotive, medical? Uh, the, well, I would tell you the uh, electronics market is the most demanding, okay. no doubt about it. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, we're able to take some of the technology we learn here and move it over. Medical uh, device manufacturing has its own needs. Mm. Um, and of course, a lot of their cleaning needs are based on the circuit boards they're yeah. manufacturing. Yeah. So it, it generally the most demanding is the electronics and a little bit in the semiconductor, but yeah. electronics is a challenge. Yeah. As a, widest array of, uh, of residues, if you will. Yeah, and in terms of standards, in terms of regulation, IPC are involved in this. Is it clear to see what standards everybody needs to clean to, or is that a bit, how clean is clean? Is that a bit vague? Uh, I would tell you uh, each customer is generally different mm. than the next. It's, uh, you start off with a standardized test on how you measure it, but everyone has kind of what their own cleaning standard would be. Okay. Okay, well, Tom, good luck with the show. Thanks for stopping by. Well, Thanks for chatting. My pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you.